So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is another perfect evening here in Pennsylvania. We've had such a nice stretch of weather, it's hard to imagine, especially since it's March. But anyway, this evening, I got kind of a good news, bad news sort of thing. Actually, I think it's a little more bad news, I don't know. I got home from work a little bit ago, and I got on the RK55, put the box blade on, and I was gonna come down here and work on that little road in front of the pond. If you remember from last winter, uh, if you've been following our channel for a while, the stand pipe got plugged up, the dam overflowed, and it really rutted up that road that's down in front of the pond. So I'm thinking, you know what, it's a nice evening. I'm going to come down here, get that all fixed up, and maybe go do some work on my sister's driveway. And I come down here around the bend, and I'll show you what I ran into here. So like I said, I have the box blade on the tractor. Beautiful evening. I'm thinking I'm going to come down here, get a bunch of stuff done. Coming down the trail, rounding the bend, and I find this, another beautiful oak tree that went down. Now, if you've been following this channel for a while, you know, you know, you've seen a lot of wood chips flying, but you, you know, you kind of admire a tree like this. And every time I come down here to the pond and pass this thing, I really like this oak tree. It's just beautiful. And it blew over. Uh, it must have just happened over the last couple of weeks. I'm trying to think the last time I was down here. It goes the whole way down into the pond here. Yeah, Melissa was coming down to help me. Look at that. that uh, we were down here last week and that wasn't down. Really? Me and the dog. This is a really nice tree. I, I mean, every time I drive by this tree down here, I, you kind of admire it. Stand ever close to that to give them some idea how big it is right here. Yep. Can you imagine if you're standing down here when this thing went down? Yeah. And then down here, there's... Yeah, this was a good tree. Yeah, I don't know. If you can see, down there is a cherry tree that's down, another little cherry tree. That oak air smashed up. But yeah, this thing stretches the whole way across the pond. That's the back of the pond at what you're looking at right there. I was just telling them it's kind of a good news, bad news sort of thing because uh, bad news, I really like this tree. Good news, I guess. There's a ton of firewood from this end out. Yeah. And a couple of really nice saw logs right here. I think we should do another video on this one, on uh, counting the rings. It'll probably be a little while before we get to that point, but if you want to enter in the comments right now how old you think this one is, we'll do that again, have another little history lesson. I'll tell you right now, it's not as old as the other one, although it can be deceiving because down here, you know, there's a bunch of real big oaks, so even though it's a little bit smaller than that last one we counted the rings on, I'm thinking it's... Uh, it's going to be close to 200. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. This tree? Yeah. I think the other one is much bigger. Yeah, the other one was bigger, but I'm telling you, it's, this is a big one. We'll see when we tear into it, but I'm going to have my work cut out for me here. Huh. There's a lot of firewood in here. And that's, a, that's a pretty good-sized cherry. I mean, that cherry tree that's down is like 15 inches in diameter, and it looks like a toothpick compared to the rest of this. Hmm. Mike, go ahead and walk out and see how far you can get out there. <laughs> no. I'm about six feet off the ground right now. That's not good. But this, that's, I don't know when this happened. Yeah, I don't know either. This doesn't make sense. When do we have those winds? Like last weekend or something? I don't know. Yeah, Melissa was coming down to help me. Uh, She's going to be my labor. We got to fill in some holes and do some stuff over at the pond. And the problem is, I can't even get around this on the tractor. Uh, all the limbs are so low. This is the only 
place that you can cross the stream on the whole property. The stream kind of divides between our place, like in my mom's, and this trail right here leads down to the front of the pond, and that's how you get across. I could try to find my way, you know, through there, but the limbs are so low and everything, they'll be hanging up on the cab. I may just take the road around and uh, while well, I got the box plate on and get something done this evening. All right, you heading up to the house? Yeah. How long do you think you do? About an hour, something like that. Got a new taste around it today. Nice. Yeah. What happened to the old one? Well, I thought it just, it was old, but I... Uh, I'm old. Yeah. You didn't scare uh, me. Yeah, I will. But uh, here's the thing. So I brought the new one home and it wasn't working. And it was the plug. Oh, what? So it needed to Ah, GFI. Yeah. All right. And the other funny thing is, I found the chicken salad. It was under the seat in the Jeep, so it's been I wouldn't there for eat that. a week. But thankfully, it's not been above 50, so it was pretty good to eat. No, I don't think. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. All right, I'm down here by my mom's place in my sister's driveway. I had to drive all the way around. But I'm going to grade my sister's driveway up some, and I'm going to be using the uh, box blade. Now, a lot of times you'll see that I use the land plane. This driveway is pretty rough. It's in pretty bad shape. And plus, I have a lot of, like, ones and twos on here, which is rock about this big. And, you know, it's sunk down in the ground a little bit. But I find that the box blade works better than the land plane in this situation. Uh, the land plane will want to kind of hop. Uh, on those big rocks and it doesn't just you know it still works but it's just not as easy I just don't like it as much as the box blade the box blade has those rippers on it so you know I'll just take my time and loosen it up a little bit and after about three or four passes I'll get all the little ruts out of it and the potholes dug out and filled in and graded up but anyway we'll get started here I'll show you what I'm talking about I uh, you probably can't see but way up at the top there's a uh, there's some deer up there. I got a food plot right along the edge of the driveway up there. Things are actually starting to grow just a little bit in March here, which is unheard of. Anyway, look at some of these holes, and it's just rough. I've went over this driveway before. Uh, I call it putting lipstick on a pig. It's real long, lots of clay. It just keeps eating up the rock. And, you know, there's people always, oh, you should pave it. It would be $150,000 to pave this driveway, something like that. And, uh, or you just need more rock. It would be $20,000 worth of rock. So it's just one of those things. You just maintain. It's not bad. Boy, I can see a bunch of deer up there. They like that food plot.
probably noticed when I first started those rippers, I just have them set down just a wee little bit. And it takes a few passes before you get everything loosened up. But it works really well. It's already coming along pretty good. Look here. It's a phone line. I broke a phone line. Actually, that's an old one. I have no idea why it's in the middle of the driveway. But uh, that's where it is. That's my mom's dog barking. She's wondering what's going on down here. Anyway, I'm just going to keep working up the driveway. It gets worse the further you go up. But I'll tell you what, I cannot get over how dry it is. I mean, it is March. It wasn't this dry last summer. Well, I'm just going to keep working and break this into two videos once again. I've been doing that a lot lately. I don't know how you feel about that. But the way I see it is, I got a lot going on. The weather's just fantastic. And I don't want the videos to be like a half hour long or anything like that. And I try to show as much as I can. And sometimes I talk a little bit too much. So this will be part one. Part two will be the next video. But anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button. Click subscribe and share them with your friends. Thanks.